Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this little video we are taking a look at an asset on the asset store called Low Poly Forest Environment Package. So, as you guys probably know if you follow me, I do like low poly things. I think they're a really nice design to work with. So let's get into this. So first thing you'll notice with this one is it doesn't quite look like it does on the asset store page. So remember that some of these images on the asset store page add some extra post processing effects and um, designing and everything. But I think realistically we get what we need here. Quality, um, I've seen better low poly assets. These are very, very basic low poly assets, but I think they probably would serve a decent purpose if you're aiming for that style of game. So quality, yeah, I think it's decent enough, but it's not the best I've ever seen. Quantity, I think we get quite a bit here. Um, if we look at the prefabs, you can see that, yeah, we get quite a bit here. And this demo scene actually illustrates in a cube form what we have in the package. And I think that's pretty decent. It's a decent amount. So quantity, yes, great amount. Uh, if I press play and we go to the game scene, we'll see it rotating as well. And we'll see all the assets that we do get with it. So extras, I don't think there's really much in the way of extras, to be honest. Maybe we can class the animation as an extra, but it does you know, describe itself as a forest pack. So you would expect to get quite a lot of objects that you would see in a forest. How versatile is it? Well, when it comes down to uh, low poly stuff, versatility is off the table a little simply because of the way they're designed. You'll usually find in this case, all of these come from one single texture. So if you're prepared to change this texture to be a bit more less basic, as it were, then you could probably customize this a whole lot more. So it's not really that versatile in that sense, but I don't think you'd really need it to be. I mean, if you're aiming for forest, low poly, this is pretty decent. I think it will serve its purpose, even if it's just for um, a prototype game. I think that's good enough. Uh, yeah, it does come with this pre-made scene, all good. I love demo scenes and the folders are fairly neatly laid out, even if it does snake down a little bit before we actually get to the pack itself, because for some reason it comes in its original folder then another folder, then a folder called R, then another folder. So maybe eliminate some of those folders. But other than that, everything else is neat within them. Uh, how useful is it? Well, if you're creating a low poly game with a forest, yeah, I think it'll serve its purpose. I think it's decent enough for that. As I said, even if it's just for prototyping, it's always good to see. Uh, how much is it and how big is it? This is where it shines. Free. Always good to see a free asset. And it's always good to see an asset under a megabyte. That is amazing. That's that's really, really good. So I think the creator of this maybe had in mind that people are geared more towards mobile development. So he's trying to keep that file size very, very low. And he's done that very well, or she's done that very well. I think it's really good size for what we get here. So yes, I am quite happy with the size and the price of it. So overall, yeah, I, th I think it probably served its purpose. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I think what draws this one back a little bit is it does look quite glamorous on the asset store page and it does not look quite so glamorous in the um, asset itself. Uh, but I think people always have to remember, as I said earlier, that post-processing is more than likely used most of the time to recreate that. So keep that in mind. You can add your own post processing to this and make it look awesome. That said, I probably would recommend this definitely for a forest prototype, but maybe not for something a bit more advanced. If you look at something like Timmy and Mousy, for example, that I created um, in 2020, I think that that low poly style is a bit different to this low poly style and this low poly style wouldn't fit into my Timmy and Mousy game. So low poly is, it's hard to explain. Low poly is low poly in itself. It is one generic term, but I think there are probably different variations of low poly. Some much more low poly than others. And this one is one that's much more low poly. Um, so with all that said, yeah, I'd probably just about recommend this for a prototype uh, of a forest, just to get things in place, have a play around in Unity. I think it's decent enough for that.
So guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know what you think and what you've used it for. And if you've got an asset on the asset store as well, let me know because I'd love to check it out in one of these little videos. Finally, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with all the videos I've got on video game development because there's always loads to see, loads to learn and loads to do. Hopefully I will see you around in the next video. Thank you very much for watching guys.